So in terms of the Brunisolic order, uh, the central concept of this, this order, I like to think of it basically as a soil that's sort of in its adolescence, where we've talked about the Regasolic order, and those are sort of junior soils, or soils that are just starting out. This one has some development, but not, but not a great deal. The Brunisolic order, the primary characteristic of it is that as a uh, um, moderately developed B horizon, a reddish B horizon, where the, the BM in the, in the, in the suffix just refers to moderate changes from the parent material. Uh, in terms of how these soils develop then, it's by, by a, a contribution of all of the same kinds of soil forming uh, processes and factors that we've seen at the other sites, but maybe just not as in, intensely uh, occurring as quite as intensely. So in terms of the additions at this particular site, we're seeing some input of organic matter uh, at, the, at the surface, precipitation coming in. Uh, in terms of any removals, there hasn't been a, a lot of removal, but because this is a sandy material, there, there has been quite a bit of water movement through it. So there's uh, nutrients and whatnot are quite readily leached through this soil profile when they are, when, uh, uh, as, as it drains. In terms of any uh, transfers or transformations within it, we do see some evidence of uh, movement downward through the profile, a, a, a slight alluvial horizon or AE horizon, uh, but we don't see the, the, the counterpart to that. There's not enough clay in this for there to be any type of a, of a BT horizon underneath that, so, but we do see some evidence of trans, translocation within the profile. The other thing that we see is because the, the, the strong reddish horizon is basically evidence of, uh, of the iron oxides that are, that are present within this soil. That's quite characteristic of its parent material as well. which is, is So it's, it's a little bit redder than the original parent material, but there's, there is this accumulation of iron oxides in the BM horizon. In terms of the soil forming factors that are important here, the parent material is one of the most important ones in terms of its influence on the type of soil that we're seeing here. We've got this sandy parent material, so the, the fluvial lacustrine parent material, and it's quite resistant to weathering. So when you combine that with where we are in the landscape and the fact that this soil, that this sandy material, uh, it's in addition to being resistant to weathering, it also drains quite readily, and so we end up with this very dry, uh, soil forming environment. So in addition to it being a cool climate, as I mentioned earlier, it's cool and dry, weathering resistant material, and so it's kind of hard for the soil, uh, soil forming processes to take place with any significant intensity. We just don't have enough precipitation or enough uh, a warm enough climate or enough biological activity to make for really intensive uh, soil forming processes here. Uh, other soil forming, uh, or soil forming factors of significance then are going to be the vegetation. So again, we've got dominantly forest vegetation, but because it's uh, because we're looking at a uh, jack pine stand here, we don't have the same type of surface organic matter input that we might have if we were in a deciduous forest where we would have a lot of leaf litter input. So not quite as thick of, a, of an A uh, horizon at the surface or an organic horizon at the surface. But we do, that it, we do have that as our dominant organic matter input, is at the surface. Um, any other factors that might be of significance here? Again, as I mentioned, basically the combination of the climate together with the parent material. Even within this landscape where we do have some, this is a bit of an undulating landscape, so we would see gradations in terms of the intensity of the soil, uh, the, the soil profile as we move down the slope, slightly thinner and less well-developed soils on the upper slope positions and thicker soils in the lower slope positions, but they would generally all class out similarly in terms of, their, in terms of the overall order unless, until we get down into the very, very low wet landscape positions.